we have seen the magnitude of magnetic field created by current element ideal now we will see the magnetic field which is created here is it a scalar quantity or a vector quantity we know that all fields whether it is gravitational uh, electrical or magnetic are defined as force on a particle and force is always a vector quantity so field is also a vector quantity so field here is a vector quantity it should have a direction so what is the rule of the direction so bs our told us a right hand palm rule for the direction right hand palm rule is this is my right hand i take this right hand and extend the thumb by 90 degree now not necessary 90 degree this thumb i will place in the direction of i this is the direction of i i will place it here then this will go this palm this will go in the direction of r this way so this is in the direction of i this is in the direction of r and when i reach here this is my palm then i make a right angle on my palm and that right angle will be this this right angle on the palm so this gives the direction of magnetic field at this point so this the magnetic field is going inside here and i told you in the beginning in magnetic field studies we must be able to imagine all the three dimensions so this i am putting in y direction this r is in x direction so magnetic field will be in z direction inside third direction see this and now i make a shortcut of it this is the palm the magnetic field is always towards palm and not towards the back don't say that this is also a perpendicular maybe it is a perpendicular i am not concerned i am concerned with this palm the perpendicular on this gives the direction of magnetic field so here magnetic field goes inside and for inside we have a notation here this an arrow when it goes here we see the back side of the arrow this is this so this is magnetic field going inside here now i made a shortcut for this we have to make a right angle here this i turn this way it becomes a right angle to the palm so i simply place it here and turn this is inside is the direction of magnetic field this is about the direction given by the right hand palm rule now if suppose this is a conductor and my point is here if my point is here this is r then what do i do i put a this and rotate it this way and this right angle to this gives the magnetic field in this direction if it is here then this and this is the direction of magnetic field if it is here then this is the direction of magnetic field and now you see this is the direction of magnetic field at this point at this point at this point so this direction is rotating all around it that is the direction of magnetic field in a conductor in the form of a circle and it will come back to the same point so there is no end to that so this makes a circular loop that is also we have studied in the very first lecture the same thing is here so this i will mark as this is the direction of magnetic field going inside inside so this is direction there are certain other properties here it depends upon theta if this r is making right angle then if theta is equal to 90 degree db is maximum okay take reverse of this here it is maximum for the same r for the same r it is maximum at this point because here it is 90 degree but if this is a current element ideal and i take my point here p what is the magnetic field here answer for this theta is equal to 
if theta is equal to 0 then my formula i dl sin theta upon r square if theta is 0 the whole thing becomes 0 so at this point it is 0 at this point it is maximum at 90 degree that is effect of theta okay now mu naught upon 4 pi of course we have seen that is a constant so we have seen direction at which point it will be maximum at which point it will be minimum okay so uh, in the next topic we will see how it is compared with the coulomb's law